Welcome to the channel. Today we are talking about, I think it's called a Tima uh, inverter generator. Everybody knows what an inverter is, right? Basically it takes, uh, it's clean power for your electronics, stuff like that. This is on the bigger scale of inverter technology. They're generally quiet. This is no exception. It is quite quiet. It does use a Yamaha engine, which is the selling point of this unit, I believe, right? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. You know, because you can buy, I think this one retails for around 1200 Don't quote me. You can find it maybe cheaper oh, is online. That it? Yeah. 1200 doesn't seem bad for a 3000. No, because I mean the Yamaha version is probably way higher than that. Um, it has a steel outer frame on it right here, and it has a handle on the front here that you pull so you can pull it and wheel. So it is easily maneuverable by one person. However, you, you might need two people to put it into a trunk or something like that. I think you would, yeah. What's the weight on it? Here. I don't know, does it say the weight? But it is heavy. But either way, you guys, uh, we got to check it out a little bit here. Uh, we ran it outside. We actually overloaded it by putting in a 13 amp DeWalt heater and a hair dryer. I'm not exactly what the hair dryer pulls, but it's probably around 10 amps because when we were running both of them, we were at 26 amps. It has a uh, display on the front of the unit there, which gives you amps, volts, hours, um, RPMs, and a couple other... Uh, pieces of information uh we definitely overloaded it though i definitely we were up to like 3600 watts it says it was pushing out or 3200 i mean i know that's quite a difference i just can't recall which it, either it was but either or it was rated over what we were uh it's rated for 2600 2600 and 3000 starting watts so we were trying to push like 3200 watts on it uh the overload light did come on <laughs> it's hilarious to eric the overload light. That's why you see it's smoking all. <laughs> yes, it is smoky no, a little to... bit, you guys. But we no, both... it's because it's brand new. Because I mean, it's, it's brand just, new. It's, it's all the stuff that. on the exhaust. Yeah. At least that's what we're, we're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you guys, it actually worked pretty good. It did it, and you know, it does have an overload protection, so it will actually shut down if we give it too much. Um, we were definitely taxing it. Um, you know, it was just definitely steadily kicking on. But you know, we've never done that to a generator, and it held up, right? Um, start up from scratch. Obviously, it took a few pulls. It was cold. It's been sitting about a week. I have started it before. We have put fresh fuel in it. Probably took three or four pulls, right? It's pretty simple. You just turn it to choke, pull three or four times, and it should start up. Uh, if it's already warm, you're just going to go to on. Right, so pretty much, Eric, I'm sure you just turn the fuel to choke, and I guess just pull. There's no choke anywhere or anything? Or it's that on is, choke. But I mean, there's no gas on and off? It doesn't look like it. Oh. No, was, there we oh, go. There Next thing that I like about it is right here is a easy access fuel, uh, oil fill panel. So, you know, the days of getting the old screwdriver with the long screw. Do you need me in this video or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> USB power out here, you guys. 20 amp circuit right here, 8 amp circuit right here. Uh, some of the wording on it's a little different than I've seen on other units. Uh, like it says cigar lighter, which should just be like a 12 volt accessory port. And it also says on, rush, off, which I don't know what that means. Do you, Eric? What are you even talking about? Right here. On, rush, off. Not exactly yeah, sure what that means. Smart throttle, you guys. Because it is just like a breaker right there. Yeah, it's reset weird. it. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, basically, you guys also has an oil light to let you know when you have uh, low oil. Smart throttle basically will throttle the unit down when you don't need all that power. It kind of conserve fuel for you. Not exactly sure on the runtime of this with fuel, but it does have the Yamaha motor, which they are usually pretty, uh, pretty well fuel efficient. I, can, I like it's got the USB port. This would make it great for Shut up, like, I'm doing this. a portable way to charge your phone. So I bring this with me if I'm just charging my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, GFC GI outlet 
GFC, GFCI outlet on the front here, grounding, also does parallel, uh, so you can parallel it with another if you want more wattage, stuff like that. Um, does not run off propane, just runs off of straight fuel, no mixture whatsoever. The only thing that I would like to have seen is a, a couple more, or maybe at least one more outlet. There's only one outlet here. There's two, two. outlets. Well, two, but one block. Yeah, but it also does 220, doesn't it, for like your RV or something? Uh, yes, it also has the output, but that's not 220. Well, the, uh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, not 220, but it's for the RV set. For yeah, the RV, right? it's basically an RV generator, you guys. If you're out in the park, uh, you know, and you need a generator, James and Mo, James and Mo Vlogs, check them out. They're the kind of people that would uh, totally be interested in something like this. You know, you're camping, you run it, it's quiet, it's going to be able to handle pretty much anything when you're camping. So, um, I don't know. Would you buy it, Eric? <laughs> I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, actually, you know what? It really surprised me. I, this is a name I've never heard of before. Like you said, though, the selling point with the Yamaha engine makes me feel better about that. You know what I mean? So, yes, I would buy it. Especially at a $1,200 price point. Yeah, and like Eric said, I mean, that display on the front was one of the best I've seen on a generator. So, as far as features, stuff like that, I can't tell you longevity yet. I can't tell you that it has the Yamaha engine, which is reliable. But as far as the other components, the only thing we can do is time will tell. Eric just thinks that's too hilarious. too much gas in here or something. There's too much Why are you laughing? Fumes. What is so know. funny? I'm trying because to find... I just keep thinking of that uh, airplane video. That's the only thing. Oh, the yeah. Thing you guys, out. we just watched an airplane video. I'll put a link in the description or below. It's basically Airbus was testing <laughs> these this airplane <laughs> where you go as fast as you possibly can, hit the brakes, and you have to sit there for like 10 minutes and let the aircraft go on fire. And the French guys did it. It's just, it, it was so it was funny. funny. The pilot, <laughs> yeah, you have to just watch <laughs> the pilot it. Is, he probably <laughs> retired that yeah. day. Um, totally segue into something different. Sorry about that. But yeah, cool little unit. Check it out for the price point. Uh, they're just new to market though, so we really don't have any longevity yet about it that I know of. And I re did some research online, and really there's nothing out there but just guys like us that just got it kind of showing you the instant it working. So, you know, check back in like a year or two, and then hopefully... <laughs> <laughs> hopefully yeah. it'll still be running. <laughs> check it out, you guys. Tools yeah. Action. Please go to Instagram. Click on Instagram, you guys. Come on. That's where we're doing a lot of our stuff is Instagram these days. <laughs> Not YouTube. <laughs> Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.